shots of the sunrise there and it is early <laughs> and a little bit chilly actually. We're off to Melbourne today because a, a couple of weeks ago I organized with a friend um, some work experience at a, at a tech company down in Melbourne and it's even though I've, I've started at Max Kelson I'm, I'm going down to spend two days there to get some more experience to see how how it's run and this is this is not a, not a small company either there they have I think 1400 or something staff in, in Australia it's it's REA group realestate.com.au is their, is their main site in Australia I think they have a few other things but I'll, I'll see what I can film down there and bring you with me let's fly Excellent, how are you? Good, thanks. Can, I need to get to South Yarra. Yeah, Cheers. Thank you. Impossibly one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever been in. And I have to, I have to talk quiet because it's a library. Just, just let me show you. Look at this. It's exactly what you'd see in the movies. It's amazing. How could you not want to study in here? I could spend literally all day, but I've got to go meet my friend before it gets dark and, and I need some dinner. Look, there are even people playing chess down here. So I'm going to go meet my friend. Uh, we're gonna have some food and then I'm gonna do some reading for, for tomorrow. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna split this, this video up because I'm here for three days. I'm gonna record a lot of footage. I don't know, I might put that as one thing or a couple of videos. Who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> isn't even up yet but I'm heading in early to near the place I'm doing the, the learning experience and I think that's what you could call it a learning experience. I'm gonna find a nice little cafe if you're ever in Melbourne. Melbourne is highly regarded in Australia at least for its its cafes and, and coffee shops and, and the coffee culture and all this sort of stuff. Um, so which is something I'm not not against at all because who, who doesn't love something warm in the morning when it's cold? Um, as for what I'm doing today, I, I think my first meeting is with Nigel, who's the chief inventor of Ari Agri. So I'm excited. Imagine having a title as chief inventor. Um, not just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do, keep doing some writing. Is it sparkling water? Yeah, we're doing that later for us. What's that in like in a leader for right? yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I got one. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Thank you.
cool artworks, hey? Melbourne is full of these things in the, the streets and alleyways. Look at this. There's Sanic, Sanic the Hedgehog. Show me the way to end it all. <laughs> but what you saw there was I was answering some questions on LinkedIn. A lot of, a lot of messages is another one. I think that's, is that Johnny Bravo? I'm not entirely sure. All these memes. <laughs> but I was answering some questions on LinkedIn. After posting in, about getting an internship and whatnot and a role, I had a lot of questions saying, what's the best way to do it? What, what are the courses to do? Where do I start? Well, to be honest, I, I'm not entirely sure what the, what the best courses are, but I can share what what I've learned and what, what worked for me. So it happened by, by sharing my work, by putting it out online, letting people know what I was working on and just putting myself out there. And then someone reached out to me and then that person put me in contact with another person and then that person put me in contact with another person again. And then I, I was offered a role. And of course, it's important to, to learn uh, the skills and whatnot. That's, that's fundamental, of course. That's, that's a variable we can all take care of. There is no one magic bullet course. But I think what's really important is to, to not forget uh, that how important relationships are in the field. So if you're looking to break into, whether it's data science, machine learning, or technology, anything, start messaging people. Start going to meetups, meeting, meeting people who are involved in what you want to get involved in. That's, that's what's worked for me. Um, will it work for you? I'm not entirely sure. They're, as I said, everyone's, everyone's journey will be different, but that's, that's essentially what happened to me. So start messaging people, reach out, share what you're working on so people can find you. That's, that's my advice on how to get an internship. Morning. Excellent, how are you? Good. I'm here to see Nigel, I think. I'll get you to sign into the iPad. Yeah. And Nigel will be your host for today. Beautiful. So what do you think of our EA? Pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. That's the main difference for me. Oh. Go back uh, 22 years. Yeah. And that's not the, too long. No, in the nineties it was it was just the that's, dot com boom. That's younger than me. Totally. And, <laughs> and in the nineties it was all about how many URLs can you actually register? And really yes, so all the AU turned out to be a great one. We've got <laughs> over, over two hundred from the, the guys who originally founded the company. Over two hundred original domain names. URLs. Domain oh. names. We have to maintain them, yeah. you know. And some of them are hilarious. <laughs> And many, many of them never got executed or were campaign based or otherwise, but the one that won was realestate.com.au. Oh, and Realtor. Been, yeah, well, we've brought in various com. other businesses along the way. We My started fun. My fun in China. One form was a business we bought. Yep. Uh, Real Commercial was an obvious addition. I wish I, wish I caught on to that earlier so I could have registered danielberg.com. I don't have that. Oh no! <laughs> Do you have your and, name? And no, I don't. <laughs> but who knows? Like in the world of apps, maybe yeah. it's not important. Yeah. But brand names become incredibly important. So. Yeah, that's it. But and all of these as well. Yeah. So that's our international family there. Yeah. That's, uh, and you can see we've just added realestate.com.au homelands by hand. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not a design error to ever go putting something up because we grow so fast. Well, that's yeah, that's what I figure. So rapidly that it becomes a bit of a challenge. But so really, the change across this board is a change from searching through the photographs of secondhand houses on the internet. Yep. So back in through to a world of match. Yep. So search. Search. Three years. Match. Match. And this is where our strategy now lies. It's okay. Of, machine learning artificial intelligence to match people to things in property yeah so they could be content yeah they could be a home loan like you yeah. just saw there they could be an investment property a rental property but this is the thing now people are just going to go i want to spend less time searching well that's yeah that's exactly i was thinking about that the other day i was talking with my brothers when we go on youtube I don't think I've searched for a video exactly in the last year. I, well, I can't remember actually searching for a video like that. It just knows what I want to watch. It knows what I'm interested in. 
same for other platforms, right? You get there. And, and what happens is trust builds over huh? time. So yeah. people, uh, they start out going, oh, I've got these suggestions. We've been doing push notifications. We do 18 million a month yeah. for years. So the biggest question in this company across that whole lifetime, what do you reckon that's been? What do you reckon our research lab every single time comes back with this is the question? The biggest question. Yeah, in real estate today, in digital real estate, what's the number one question? If you were the greatest real estate agent in the in you town, had you the flip had phone. one of those. That's, 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 that's like, now iPhone. 1996 calling. There's a driver and a co-driver, a pilot and a co-pilot. Yeah. This increases the quality of what you build and reduces the cost of what you build. What a day.